evening and thanks for joining us at six. I'm Sean Gables and I'm Rick Fulbaum. It has been a tough night for several Metro Atlanta families after deadly car accidents that might motivate you to have difficult but important conversations with young drivers in your house. Just about an hour ago, we learned funeral arrangements are finalized for this Gwinnett County cheerleader, a suspected drunk driver facing charges after the crash that killed Caitlin Pollock. Atlanta News First reporter Don Shipman talked to one of Caitlin's friends who survived that crash. And Don, this is such a sad story. And like all drinking and driving cases, one that could have been totally prevented. That is correct. There were seven people in the car that night. The driver, police say, admitted to drinking before the crash. I talked to one of the six survivors of that crash. She tells me that she regrets getting into that vehicle. He was just an amazing person. 16 year old Caitlin Pollock is being remembered as fearless, adventurous and kind. She was never mad. She was never upset. No grudges were held. She was always happy. Layla figures traces her friendship with Caitlin back to middle school. Layla, who loves dancing, connected with Caitlin's passion for cheerleading. How have you and your friends been supporting each other? Um, I've actually never seen what has happened in the past few days ever happen. Um, we have gone and see each other so many times. We, I don't think there's been a night that I haven't, you know, there's not been a gathering at someone's house. Life is too precious. Layla is among six of her friends who walked away from Saturday night's crash with only scrapes, bumps, and bruises. 16 year old Caitlin, a front seat passenger who was not wearing a seat belt, was killed in the crash. The teens were leaving a house party. Police say their driver, 21 year old Kyle McDowell, admitted to drinking alcohol. When you're 16 years old or 21 years old, you feel like you're invincible, like this can't happen to me. But as a parent, and now I got, I'm, I'm a whole new different, it's a whole different perspective for us. Um, it, it's, don't drink and drive. Layla, along with her classmates at Mill Creek and throughout the district, planned to wear blue this Friday, one of Caitlin's favorite colors. She says Caitlin's death changed her, makes her want to be a better person and make better choices in the future. Being careful, living for her, not taking anything for granted. So the calling hours are happening tomorrow from 6 p.m. until 9 p.m. at Flanagan Funeral Home that's in Buford. The funeral celebration of life that is taking place on Thursday, 4 p.m. at Stone Church, the Hamilton Mill campus. And then her family is requesting students wear their school spirit shirts to the funeral, that celebration of life. We're live here in Gwinnett County. Don Shipman, Atlanta News First. Well, several